CEO of World Vision US. And today we're talking about James chapter 1, verses 2 and 3, which say, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. I recently returned from the Ukraine border, witnessing firsthand what has become the fastest growing refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. At the border crossing to Romania, all around me were mothers carrying babies and young children, teenagers who were clearly in shock, and the elderly, uprooted from places where they had lived their whole lives. I watched an older man began to sob uncontrollably. He leaned against one of the barriers, clothes covered in mud, and pointed at the sky, reliving the moment when his house had been bombed. The troubles of any kind were in full display, but joy? Where does joy fit in a moment like this? Well, the joy James speaks of comes not from earthly happiness, but from the hope of becoming mature and complete in our faith, as James goes on to say in verse 4. Conflict, loss, uncertainty. These troubles test our faith, but they also strengthen it when we see and feel God's presence in our hardest moments. And with that strong, mature faith, we can endure, confident that the God who led us through the last crisis will be there again for troubles of any kind. As the sobbing man leaned against the barrier, a volunteer, a complete stranger, immediately came over and held him in a tight embrace. It was as if the hand of Christ touched the man, giving him the comfort needed to take the next step in his journey. We don't know how the conflict in Ukraine will end, and we're sure to face all the troubles in our lives. But there is one constant we can depend on, that of God meeting us in our difficult moments and maturing our faith. As you think about this verse today, reflect on when you have seen God's tenderness in your time of trouble and how He helped you endure. Thank Him for His beautiful presence in your moments of pain and pray for people caught in conflict around the world.